Cal and welcome to my world. Today another episode of ABC Ask Big Cal where you ask me questions. Once I get five I make a video. Uh, first I just want to apologise once again uh, for the bad lighting. Like I said my uh, main light source is the window here to my left and being that I'm in England and it's now November there's practically no sun and if I turn the big light on as you will have seen in some of the previous videos the video quality is even worse so I'll see what I can do in editing but uh, can't really promise much I'm afraid anyway let's get started with the first question question number one best Star Wars movie out of the six theatrical releases so anyone watching this in the future episodes 7, 8 and 9 haven't been released yet so I'm just going with one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the best one is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, it's pretty much um, an easy choice, an obvious choice, the generic pick. It's the one most people pick because it's the best. Um, my favourite would actually be Return of the Jedi just because it was actually the first one that I saw. Uh, but Empire Strikes Back is definitely the better film. Question number two. If you don't own a pair of shorts, you at least have to have swim trunks or boxers right. It's what the people want, you fucking hillbilly. Oh wow, another question on shorts. I don't have any swim shorts or trunks or anything because I don't really go swimming. I live in England, we have shitty indoor pools, nobody wants to go to them and don't even get me started on our seas. Do I own boxes? Yes, but I don't really want to be on camera with those, they are a little more revealing than normal shorts because they're shorter and you know they have the, the whole, you know, the buttony parts so where you no, I'm not wearing shorts, ever. I do not like shorts. I will not be seen wearing shorts on camera. Stop questioning it. And how the fuck am I a hillbilly? Seriously, I live in England. We don't have hillbillies, you Texan prick. Yes, it was a Texan that sent me the question. Question number three. When I was 11, I went to the zoo. While viewing the amphibians, a zoologist named Reginald touched my pudding pincher. Later the same day, I was eating ice cream and dropped it in front of everyone. Oh no, what is your most embarrassing story? I know weird people. My most embarrassing story. I genuinely can't think of anything because I try and avoid doing anything stupid and embarrassing anyway and some things are, I tend not to get embarrassed anyway that might embarrass other people so um I really can't think of anything not to say I haven't done anything embarrassing but absolutely nothing is coming to my mind at all I guess the closest thing I can think of is the time at uh, good old secondary school for drama. For some reason, each form, each like separate class thing, had to do uh, a random show in front of the rest of the year. I don't really know why or how I ended up being stuck with it, but there we go. And one of my scenes involved me being um, essentially like a jester sort of thing for a king or whatever and I thought it'd be funny if I put a pair of boxer shorts on my head so I did and then as I was walking out the boxer shorts um, well, my, my waist is bigger than my head and they sort of slipped down and I couldn't see properly 
and then I ended up um, smacking my head into part of the staging, uh, which I broke, and then my character was to be thrown out and away from the king, so I was just, this guy, you know, like, threw me, literally threw me, and I went backstage, and there was a chair, and my head went smack into the um, metal chair leg, and it hurt, and that's probably why I don't wear shorts. I, know, I found it more funny than embarrassing, but I guess, you know, being be in front of the rest of the school with boxes on your head, I don't know. Fuck off! Next question. Question number four. What would your name be if you competed in the World's Strongest Man competition? Well, it will be my name. This isn't wrestling, they don't have gimmick names. Some of them have nicknames, yeah, but they still go by their real names, so I would be Callum Murray. My nickname, I guess, would be Big Cal. What kind of question is that, you idiot? <sighs> question number five. Okay, last question is... Favourite Star Wars character? Jar Jar Binks. Nah, I'm just joking, nobody likes Jar Jar. Even if he's a potential Sith Lord. Um, the Emperor. Always liked the Emperor, just evil and creepy and evil. You know, he was pretty much the, the one good thing about the prequels. So, Emperor Palpatine. Well, that's all from me this week. I'm Big Cal. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have any questions for me, send them to me via Twitter, Facebook, email, post comment on my website or on YouTube below the video. Get in touch with me any way you can. Leave me a question and once I get five, I'll record another video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.